How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a CD or DVD based disc. It can either be a game disc, music disc, or whatever, using a low cost resurfacing method. Now in order to prove that this actually works, I'm going to use this Just Dance Wii disc and make sure that it plays first, destroy it, and show that it does not work, and then I'm going to repair it with the resurfacing disc and then play it again. So let's just get to it. So you see it's a little bit scratched up. I'm going to put this in. See that it works? Now we're gonna destroy it. So here's a cement floor, and I think I can scratch it up a bit just by sliding it over this. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's really bad now. I think this probably won't play. Shoot. Maybe I did a little too terrible a job on it. it looks really bad. So let me just wipe off the dust a little bit, and uh, let's see if it plays. So this is great, the disc cannot be read. Now I'm going to use the sanding and rubbing compound method in order to get the disc to work again. So the method is pretty simple. I have this assorted set of sandpaper. You get 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500 grit sandpaper. And I'll sand the surface of the disc about 30 seconds for each grit type. And then at the end of that, it'll still be a little cloudy. And I'll use this rubbing compound to finish it off to make it clear. Now these are wet sand sandpaper, so I'll have some water right here in hand so that I can sand the surface. So for all these products, I'll leave a link down below on where you can get these so you can do your own resurfacing. To clean it up, you can just use some window cleaner like this. I actually made this window cleaner myself. I'll leave a link right here to a video where I show you how to make your own window cleaner. Spray some window cleaner on top of this thing and just kind of clean it up. This is just to remove some of the dirt I got on here from the floor. I'm gonna lay a piece of soft cloth on here because I don't want to scratch up the front of my disc. Right here I've got little pieces of that sandpaper cut out. 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. And you can see that the grit on them is progressively finer. You can't really see it in camera, but I can certainly feel that it gets finer over here. So we're gonna start off with 1000 grit and sand off the really rough grooves on here. Just take some water, dip it on there. You can proceed to sand it in circles. Make sure to get the whole disc everywhere, especially the spots where you have a lot of scratches. This is a wet sanding, so you gotta re-wet it with some water sometimes. You see this cloud of white stuff, it's actually some of the plastic coming off of the disc. Once you get it all wet, you can just take the cloth and just kind of wipe it away. Wipe off all that stuff. You see it's really cloudy right now, but uh, it'll get better as we sand to a finer degree. So now I'm going to take the 1500 sandpaper, I'm going to sand it again. And you can feel that the 1000 grit roughness is being sanded away pretty fast. And then just wipe this off. Go in circular motion like this, because you want to sand perpendicular to the data lines. Moving on to the 2000, dip it in some water and keep on going. I'd say do about maybe two rounds of sanding for 1500, 2000, and 2500. Okay, now we're gonna do the last one, the 2500. Just put some of that on. So that's probably enough for the whole disc. I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and wrap it around my finger and just work that in there. And you wanna give that a good amount of pressure to really get it to be clear. Clean it up by putting some window cleaner on top of this. Now we can give this disc a try. So when I put it in the first time, it actually didn't work. Here it is after three resurfacings. I think it looks pretty good over here. You can barely see any of the remaining scratches. And now this is the third try. So let's see what happens. Let's go in there and then let's start it. Now before at this point, it stopped. So that's great. And now we can actually play something. I'm only doing this as a demonstration, so I don't recommend you taking your disc and rubbing it on the cement floor or anything, but it's good to know that if you rub it just a little bit, you might be able to repair it with three resurfacings. 
and my arm is really tired from doing all this. So this is a really manual method. You're not gonna be able to do many discs this way. I hope you like this method. If you're interested in buying the products that I used in this video, go check out in the video description below and you can get the, the sandpaper and the rubbing compound. You might be able to get better performance if you buy the next grade of sandpaper at 3000. I'll also leave a link down below in the video description for that one. So there you have it, a manual resurfacing method with proof and it costs about 10 to $15 for all the materials. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below, let me know if you fix the disc with this method and don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.